Um, but what I really want to say is, I said it earlier and I say it a lot in my shows. New Year's is a good time to really sit down and think. Think about what? Well, about the most important thing you can think about, which is your life. Is it going the way you want it to go? Are you achieving the things you want to achieve? Are you being ruthless, ruthless in pursuing happiness, in pursuing life, in pursuing your values? Are you being ruthless in adhering to a rational moral code, to being rational. But again, rational doesn't mean spark-like, unemotional, detached, the opposite, in a sense. It means passionate, valuer, living for your values, striving to achieve the values, fighting to achieve the values, working to achieve the values. Just fill in. <laughs> but placing your life, your values, your enjoyment, your happiness at the center. And don't... I, there's this Puritan element in American society and European society, which goes back to the 85-inch TV, which says, oh, don't spend too much. Don't have too much fun. Don't have too much pleasure. And as a consequence, Americans tend to get drunk, and Europeans do, tend to get drunk as a substitute for actual enjoyment, for actual pleasure. Pleasure. Find things that cause you pleasure. Please yourself. Enjoy yourself. Have fun. Don't do anything stupid now, but... <laughs> and... Pamper yourself. Spoil yourself. I mean, start by achieving. Make sure to enjoy it. Now, of course, everything's at what price? Everything is a trade-off. But think about those trade-offs. Don't automatic, don't let the Christian guilt in you deny you the pleasure. Deny you the values, deny you the spending the money. So pursue your values, work hard, achieve great things, and then enjoy your achievements and spend time enjoying your achievements and relish them. All right. What we need today, what I call the new intellectual, would be any man or woman who is willing to think, meaning any man or woman who knows that man's life must be guided by reason, by the intellect, not by feelings, wishes, whims, or mystic revelations. Any man or woman who values his life and who does not give, want to give in to today's cult of despair, cynicism, and impotence, and does not intend to give up the world to the dark ages and to the role of the collectivist brute. All right, before we go on, reminder, please like the show. We, we've got 163 live listeners right now, uh, 30 likes. That should be at least 100. I figure at least 100 of you actually like the show. Maybe there are like 60 of the Matthews out there who hate it. But, but at least the people who are liking it, you know, I want to see, I want to see a thumbs up. There you go. Start liking it. I want to see that go to 100. All it takes is a click of a, a click of a, a thing, whether you're looking at this. Uh, and, and, you know, the likes matter. It, it's not an issue of my ego. It's an issue of the algorithm. The more you like something, the more the algorithm likes it. So, you know, and if you don't like the show, give it a thumbs down. Let's see your actual views being reflected in the likes. But uh, if you like it, don't just sit there, help get the show promoted. Of course, you should also share and uh, you can support the show at youronbookshow.com slash support or on Patreon or Subscribestar or Locals uh, and, uh, and show your support for, all, for, for, for the work, for the value, hopefully, you're receiving from this. 
And, uh, and of course, don't forget, if you're not a subscriber, even if, you, even if you just come here to troll, or even if you're here like Matthew to defend Marx, uh, then uh, you should subscribe, because that way you'll know when to show up. You'll know what shows are on, when they're on. You'll get notified. So, um, yes, like, share, subscribe, support. Like, share, subscribe, support. There you go. Easy. Do one or all of those, please.